everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today we have a really exciting unboxing. A company called Reef Racks got in contact with us and normally they do things with salt water tanks, but they were wanting to see if one of the items that they made would cross over into a planted tank. And so I said that I would be willing to test it out. So let's take a look and see what they have sent us. And here we go. So this is the company, if you wanna go check them out. His name is Kyle and he does have an Instagram and that was how he actually contacted me. And so if you're into salt water, then maybe this is something that you're really interested in. But like I say, he's looking to see if this item could transfer over into a planted tank. So he has designed it slightly differently to the way he would for a salt water. And that was simply because I said that the way it was, it probably wouldn't work out so here we go all right so, so the idea of this is that it can sit anywhere in the tank because it is held on with magnets and so these magnets would actually go on the outside of the glass which basically means you can sit this anywhere in the tank and so I said that I'd be willing to try it and maybe come up with a design with plants or whatever. So that is what I'm going to do. And these magnets, boy, are they strong. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to try and move them right now, I don't think, because I don't want to break it. So I'm going to play around with it. I'm going to put it in a tank and we'll see how it works out. Okay, so here it is, and I've added on the moss, the Java moss, that's what we've used for this, and I've used super glue to glue it down. When we put it into the tank, then the magnets are gonna line up with these two here, so it's gonna go flat against the glass. Now, the one thing I will say about the magnets is they are extremely strong, and if they get too close to each other, then you risk pinching your fingers. So I would suggest that you keep them very widely apart. They do hold really, really well. We've had this in the tank now for about two weeks, I think two, maybe even three weeks, and it does look amazing. I do think that uh, this could possibly work. The company are planning on selling them and I will leave a link in the description box below for them. So I'm gonna show you putting it in the tank now. So let's do that. So before it goes into the tank, we're just gonna check that the magnets are the right way round to make sure that it then attaches onto the glass firmly. Otherwise, when you try and do it, it's not going to work. So when putting it into the tank, we just put the magnet on first and then sort of slid the rack into place. And it does hold really firmly. Those magnets are extremely strong. It does actually hold up with just one magnet in place, but we did use the two that were provided. This does look absolutely amazing in the tank. I would say at the moment they are still a little rough. And so for the likes of long finned beta fish, then they wouldn't be appropriate. But for short fins or for females or for generally any other fish, then they will actually be okay. He is working on doing one that is a little smoother so that it's not quite as rough. And obviously you could add any plants you want onto this. You could do Anubias, you could do just floating plants sort of stuck over it. It's ideal for moss, especially Java moss, Christmas moss, all the different types of moss. So it, it really does look amazing in the tank and all the floating stuff right now we've kicked up. So what I'll do is once the tank is settled again, I will do some better shots of it when we haven't got all the little bits floating round. So I totally messed up and I've just fed her the leftover baby brine shrimp and so we still have things floating around the tank. This item is amazing and it is going to be made in slightly different sizes and obviously every one will be uniquely different and I do think it is a great product. I will leave a link in the description box below. If you had several of these, you could get really creative and do an amazing design. So go on over, check it out. I will leave links to his website and also his Instagram. He is very responsive if you direct message him on Instagram and he does get back to you really, really quickly. So I would suggest doing that. I want to say thank you to Refrax for letting us have this opportunity of doing this. It has been a great experience and I do think that it is a really nice addition to a planted tank. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel and would like to see more videos like this, then please do so and we'll see you next time.